All right, two fifths divided by three halves. How many three halves are in two fifths? Okay, well, here's, I'm going to start my pictorial model. And I'm going to cut the first one into fifths. And I'm going to shade two of them. Here's my two fifths. Well, the next model I need to talk about are three halves. So I need to cut it. There's one, two. That's two halves. So I need to draw one more whole unit to get three halves. Well, now I have four halves, and I don't need that many, so I can simply cross out what I don't need. Now I'm going to shade my three halves. This reinforces the concept from students that this is the same as one and one half. So that's how you can introduce mixed numbers. All right, I'm going to draw them again because right now we're trying to compare fizz and halves. Well, I can't do that because we don't have common denominators. So this next step is the picture method of creating common denominators. You always want to look to your denominator because that's the size piece that we're discussing. We're discussing fifths and halves. So you want to take the fifth and you want to cut it into half. So now we have one, two, three, four out of ten pieces. You have just created an equivalent fraction. All right, over here we have halves, so we need to create them into fifths. In order to do that, I need to cut them into fifths. All right, this is now our unit. It's the unit because we want to know how many three halves are in two fifths. So now what we need to do is we're going to count how many pieces make up the unit now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So fifteen is the unit now. That means it's going to be the whole. All right, when we look over here, clearly we don't have 15 units. So our answer is going to be less than 1. In fact, it's 4 out of 15. All right, so now let's look at the standard algorithm. All right, the standard algorithm says that to divide two fractions, you take the second and you use the reciprocal, which means invert, and sometimes we use the term flip, and multiply and keep the first the same. So the algorithm for multiplication, you go straight numerator to numerator and you get 4, and then denominator to denominator and you get 15. So our model has just reinforced that standard algorithm of invert and multiply.